So for two years now, I've been looking at the impact of screening a goaltender to their save percentage. Coaches refer to this as a net front presence. Uh, the Rangers had a great month of December using this tactic. Let's take a closer look and see how exactly they did it. What a ride it has been covering the Rangers so far this season. We are at the halfway point and have had some shocking developments, like the Rangers 13-4-0 start, where they were averaging over four goals a game, and although I thoroughly enjoyed the Royal Road hockey, we all knew that nothing lasts forever as it came to a screeching halt November 27th versus the Ottawa Senators. But what followed next was a series of frustrating games with the Rangers offense that was completely shut down in the neutral zone and unable to create high percentage scoring chances. And then an adjustment happened when the Rangers went to Winnipeg. They were gritty, they were determined, and they went to the net and they were willing on every play to stand in front of the other team's goaltender. And that became a staple of the month. As the Rangers increased their net front totals to 11 goals in December, up big time from October where they only scored four net front goals, and November where they had seven. Chris Kreider was by far the Rangers' best player. He doesn't get an assist, but without him in front, there is no goal. Great work by Zuccarello and Stepan to team up here, but does the goalie get beat if he has clear sight lines on it? I don't know. Talk about enhancing your team's chance to score, though. In addition to all of that, Kreider opened himself up for more backdoor opportunities as he smartly got lost in D-zone coverage. He had his best month of the season, and now he has to stick to the game plan. It's amazing how many more possibilities offensively open up when you're committing to having a net front mindset as he did in December. So how much better of a chance do the Rangers have when somebody is standing in front of the goaltender? Well, let's take a closer look at this Ryan McDonough shot, comparing it to last season's NHL full regular season data on screens and clear-sighted shots from McDonough's exact location. An NHL goaltender's league average save percentage is 915, so we're going to compare it to that. If there is no screen and the goaltender has clear sight on the puck from this location, the goaltender's save percentage last season was 990. Now if Kreider is in front screening the goaltender, it helps, but it's not really enough as a single player screening the goaltender is really not that threatening alone in itself, as a goaltender can still achieve some clear sight on the puck by looking over the screener's strong side shoulder. And that really reflected the numbers as the goaltender's save percentage will just drop to 928. However, this is where the magic happens. It's when Kreider is able to engage the other team's player into joining him to screen their goaltender, making the screen have added width and depth. The numbers tell the story as the goalie's save percentage drops all the way to 884. It's unbelievable. Okay, so now I'm speaking to the offensive side of the puck. We're gonna take two mid-percentage chances, like a deflection and a screen, and we're gonna put them together. And essentially what you're doing now is you're enhancing your ability to score by using two mid-percentage chances and making them a high percentage chance. The Rangers have had 40 deflections without a screen scoring five goals this season. Okay, it's not that bad, but when the Rangers have had a deflection with a screen, they've scored eight times on 21 shots. That's an amazing increase. That's where the play is, and that's what really enhanced their ability to get through December. The common denominator for me is you have to have a net front presence to score in the NHL. The Rangers have been trending in the right direction. Let's hope it keeps up as we get into the second half of the season.